All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to invite Vexerabot to your Discord server. It's a music bot that also has a few utilities and some moderation tools, and how to play music with it and how to use some of the other commands, because as you can see here, there's quite a few from posting memes to getting stats on Fortnite and Osu, posting some images some information that you can get, so on and so forth. So the first thing we've got to do is invite this bot to our server. So we're just going to go to the main page and right here is a big old button that says add to your Discord server. Just go ahead and click that. Then it'll take you to a standard invite page. It'll ask you what server you want to invite the bot to. Uh, if you see a login screen instead, go ahead and log into your Discord account. That way the bot knows what servers are available for it to be invited to, and then you can select one. I'm gonna put it on my test server and click continue, and then all it needs is administrator powers because that's basically all the powers. Then I'll prove I'm not a lizard person, and then boom, it'll take us to the dashboard where you can see a few other settings that we'll get to in a minute. So you'll know that Vexera is on your server because it'll pop up this little sort of like hello message to say that it's here. And then from there, you can ask it what its commands are by typing in plus help. This is a little bit different than normal because unlike other bots that post it directly into the chat, it'll actually send you a direct message that contains all of the commands, or at least a good portion of the basic commands. I'm just going to copy those, and I'm going to go back down in here. I'm just going to paste them so it's easy to see them and easy to find them. So when it comes to music, that's what we first want to do. First, I have to jump into a voice channel. Otherwise, I can't use the music commands because I'm not ready to listen to music. And then from here, I'll just type in plus search. And you can also just throw in uh, the play command with a link to a YouTube video if you want. Let's go ahead and grab something from YouTube just to show you. Go to YouTube. Let's type in NCS. And then let's just throw on this piece of music. And we can just type in play and then this song. So anyway, once you type in the command, it'll pop into the channel with you and then you'll be able to listen to the music, so on and so forth. You can also type in stop. And then if you want to search for a song, you can type in search and then whatever search term you want, I'll type in NCS again. And then I'll just type in one and it'll start playing the first song in the search results. And it's pretty, pretty straightforward and pretty simple to just invite it to your server and then start using it to play music. And I think that's what a lot of people are really looking for. But if we want to, if we want to, so yeah, let's pop in and take a look at what's going on on the dashboard. So the dashboard is where you can control certain settings. Here you can change the prefix of the bot. Instead of a plus symbol, you can put whatever symbol you want. You can change the nickname for the bot. It'll also tell you what you get when you want to purchase premium, which gives you access to premium voice servers. Um, you can also get all these goodies. You get extra bass control. You get autoplay, playlists, cue dumping, all these good things. Then if you pay for the extra good one for $5 a month, you get separate instances of Vexera, guaranteeing uptime, and have up to two Vexeras running on your server at the same time. That's not too bad. And so after that, there is a fine-tuned permission system that you can put in for your server that gives you access to all the roles that you've created. And from here, you can give people the ability to use or not to use any of the commands or the features of Vexera. So if you've got like moderators, you don't want to be able to use some of the admin commands, you can do that. If you don't want people to use some of the memes, you can do that. If you want those to be like rewards when you give people like a better role, those are certainly options that you can do. Uh, after that, you can see what the current music queue is. And then if you've got a bunch of other songs in the queue, you can skip them pause or resume just from these buttons here on the back panel. You can set up some custom greetings for a greeting channel, and you can also say goodbye to people. You can change what language this runs in. It runs in quite a few different languages. 
You can log all of the events that go on on your server from joins to leaves to infractions in a specific channel. You can automatically assign people roles or you can even have a get command where people can give themselves roles. And then you can also limit the bot to what channels it does or doesn't have access to here at the bottom. So taking a look at some of the other commands beyond music, you've got admin commands where you can kick, mute, ban, unban people. You can temporarily kick them. You can give them a warning. And then if you get a bunch of warnings, you can look up the list of their infractions. And if they get a certain number, you can then permanently ban them. You can clean up a certain number of messages. Oh yeah, you can also click on all of these commands to get more information on how to use them. But you also have this clean feature, which allows you to delete messages or to delete a certain number of messages from a specific user. Really handy if somebody comes in, spams a bunch of stuff, and then leaves the server, meaning you can't just use the ban command to auto-clean everything. You've got, you can specify some stuff using the auto-roll command. They've got some for fun. You can use the 8-ball command to predict, like, the future or give yourself, like, a derpy little fortune. So we just type in 8-ball. The magic ball says, without a doubt. So you probably should ask a question first before asking the 8-ball. Uh, Mr. 8-ball, uh, will I win the lottery tomorrow? And we'll do plus 8-ball. Very doubtful. Well, that's probably accurate because I don't play the lottery. Um, let's see. Chuck Norris. Let's do a Chuck Norris joke. So there's definitely fun stuff like that. You can get stats from Fortnite. You can get information about people. Uh, or actually, no, this is more about stats. There is a, a control where you can get, like, user information on a specific user on your server. But in this case, we can also get info like, what's the ping like for the bot? And it tells you what the current lag is. Uh, 33 milliseconds, round trip 140... Five isn't bad. And then down here, you've got things like miscellaneous. You can set reminders, invite people to a certain server, show a bot list of the top bots. Let's do the stats one. I'm curious what the stats say about this bot. So it tells you the version, the owner of the bot, the uptime of two weeks, three days, and 13 hours. It's currently in... 740,000 servers, it's got this many users, this many voice streams. Here's its website, support website, and an invite to the support uh, Discord. And if you ever need help with it, up here is Vexera's official Discord, and you can see the status updates of whatever's going on with the bot. Uh, currently, earlier today, they had some downtime where some parts of the bot were breaking temporarily, but they've already fixed it. And then beyond that, you can control permissions with a permission control here in using, like, an actual command. I'd recommend actually using the back panel to do that, because it's a little easier to sort through this big mess of permissions. And then you can also see what permission, like, what commands you get if you have premium. And you can get more information, again, by clicking on any of these commands and seeing exactly what they do. And then there's some other settings that you can change via commands as well, like the language, the prefix, the log channel, all this good stuff. And it's a pretty feature-rich bot, as you can see. Like, you've got a whole bunch of different commands. It lets you do some memes. It lets you do some moderation. It has just some fun features. And most importantly, it's got a really strong music feature that makes it really quick and easy to play music. And of course, the music lets you do everything from pause, unpause, resume, tell it to join a different voice channel, see what the queue is, clear the queue, delete a song from the queue, seek a position in the track, and then shuffle the queue. All these good things can be yours for the low, low price of mostly free. I mean, you can pay for the added you know, special effects if you want, but for the most part, most of the more powerful features are available for free. All you got to do is go to the main website and click add it to your server and it'll join you and you can start playing some awesome tunes for you and your friends. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at Vexera and all the different things that it can do. Taking a look at the dashboard and also the list of commands. I hope you found this helpful and until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will put all of the links so that you can check this bot out for yourself. Invite it to your server, look at the commands, and check out the documentation. 
in the video description so that you can use it right now. And uh, that'll be it for this one. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.